Now, thanks so much for staying with us here on Morning Live. Now, imagine a place where people come together to solve some of education's biggest challenges and to support each other and to share their learnings. Now, these are the words of the Director of Partnership at Harvard Institute for Learning and Teaching, Jamie B. Goldstein. Now, Goldstein is referring to the Catalyst Community, which is a platform that helps change agents to take action together and drive meaningful transformation in education. So to tell us more about this, we joined by Catalyst Community spokesperson, Candice Dupria. Candice, uh, thanks for coming through this morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, this all sounds very, very exciting, but, but just give us a greater sense of what it actually is about. Mm, thank you. I'd love to. So um, Catalyst is a, communi a global community platform that connects education leaders across the globe. And it's specifically leaders that have an absolute passion for transforming education. It's the first of its kind. Um, it's an online platform that's providing support to these education leaders and specifically support to, to deal with, with challenges. Um, and th it was founded initially by um, a couple of key, I believe, key, key role players in the global education um, framework. And that's the likes of smart technologies, um, Harvard, like you've mentioned, that they're one of the directors there. Um, so Harvard Institute for Learning and Teaching, um, Learn It, um, Conrad Federation, just to name a few. And there are quite a number of professors on this on this panel as well. And um, the reason they really changed, uh, started this this drive and this movement, it's actually it's a movement for change. Uh, was because of the fact that you can imagine as a leader, whether you're in business or education, it's a scary, lonely place. And I think even more so for education, because um, like we were discussing off air, it's, if you get this wrong, we, you know, we're laying the foundations here for future leaders, for um, you know, business leaders, for our economy. So if we get this wrong, we've kind of set ourselves up for failure. And I think that's, that's quite a, a burden to carry. So this platform is meant to, to give them a global platform to share ideas, come back with um, concerns, challenges. How do, we, how do we gauge what's worked in other countries? Where can we learn from this? But also over and above that, I mean, if you look at Khartoum Department of Education at the moment, all we're seeing are the stabbings. Um, and and it's, it's absolutely frightful. But on top of that, we've got some good news stories that have come out of this as well and that we can start sharing and learning from each other. So that really is the, is the aim of this, of this platform. So uh, before we zoom into the South African situation and how we are likely to benefit from something mm. like this, uh, let's talk about some of the global challenges uh, that are being faced with regard to education. Well, I think some of the things that, they, that they're certainly looking at is always the, the big challenges, you know, we're moving into this fourth industrial revolution, or um, as we say, we're actually there. So the, some of the global things are, that's great, but how are we measuring the outcomes? So once you've put technology in your classroom, um, what is the impact? How are, we, how are we determining this? And certainly what we're seeing is there was this rush to put technology in, but without teacher practices. So it's a global, it's a global um, uh, challenge as much as it is a, a South African challenge as well. That's one of them. And then the other, the other one is, and I think that relates to us, is social and emotional learning. Mm. Um, and I think that's where we, when we look at these stabbings, in, in my opinion, that's what we have. How do we prepare our children? Yes, we're talking about 21st century skills, and this is, this is a global, global challenge as well. How do we prepare our children for a 21st century workplace? So when we talk communication, we talk computational thinking, um, we talk... Um, collaboration. How do we get them those skills? But what we're seeing today and, and in the reference to all these stabbings is actually how do we even teach the basics at the moment? And, and, and I'm glad you touched on that, teaching the basics, because, uh, you know, when you bring everybody together, uh, one has to appreciate that we are at different points in our development, in, in our transformation processes. So looking at where we are, uh, you know, how much of differentiation is there with regard to some of the solutions that people come up with on these platforms? So I think it's, it's, you know, you've got, like I said, the, the Catalyst platform launches in Sydney tomorrow um, and then launches in here, South Africa, on Tuesday 
and then DC and London, um, the Washington and then London. So if you look at that, you think, ah, oh, they're first world countries. But in fact, there are, in terms of this, with, with Harvard on board, with um, smart technologies on board, they operate in not only um, just sort of your first world countries, but also emerging markets. And I think that's what brings, brings opportunity for us. So in terms of if you think about some of, the, some of the things that are on the platform at the moment are things around immersive classrooms. Um, so what I mean by immersive classrooms is how are we building a sustainable environment for learning? And if you think about some of the stuff today, yes, there's, there's an ideal and then there's what we have in South Africa. But isn't that a given? Mm -hmm. Should classrooms Correct. not generally be constructed such that they are conducive Correct. to learning and teaching? Absolutely. So I think that's, that's what it's putting forward. It's saying this is how it has to be. And it's to take what we have in South Africa and, and what the, the ideal state is and how do we lay it forward with the help of the professors, with the help of the industry experts, with the help and the support from Harvard, how do we get South Africa to, to the ideal. No doubt South Africa is going to be a very interesting case uh, because when we talk transformation, uh, we're not just talking about pedagogy and, you know, what happens in the classroom setup. We, we're talking about, uh, you know, actual content and curriculum Correct. change. Uh, right. We talk about uh, decolonizing education. So, right. you know, in, in that regard, are those some things that have already been touched upon? So I think what, what Catalyst looks at, um, specifically this, you know, this, this leadership platform, is these four aspects. So it looks at, like I said, the social and emotional learning. Um, it looks at student equity, and that's where it comes in. Um, mm. It comes into how do we, from a pedagogical point of view, um, how do we ensure that the curriculum, um, the ed tech, it looks at ed tech outcomes. So how do we ensure this is all in line? And like I said, the immersive classroom. So it's not one or the other. Um, when, we, when we talk about technology, we, we look at, you have, yes, you have hardware, you have software for ultimate success, but also you have teaching practices. Mm. You can't have one without the other. And with teaching practices, that's where we start talking curriculum. We start talking um, content. Um, how do we unpack, I mean, CAPS, the CAPS curriculum, with the new framework from DBE, coding, it's all on everybody's, you know, top of their mind, but no one's quite sh sure how to integrate. Um, so absolutely, I think, and this just creates a platform, like I said, MEC Lasufi, Piazza Lasufi, um, in terms of his paperless classroom, is well ahead in terms of taking his, the schools in Gauteng to the 21st century. Um, so there may be an aspect of the ed tech that, that's there, but how do we take what the DBE wants to do in terms of coding um, and bring it into this to ensure that we move our schools to a fourth industrial revolution? So very often we complain about uh, implementation, either the lack of or uh, how it actually is done. But when you look at what is envisaged here, how would you actually go about measuring the success of an initiative such as this? Well, I think the thing is because it's an online, it's, it's, so the initial is an online community. So everybody needs to ensure that they sign up to this community. That's the first thing. Um, so everybody can sign up to... Um, it's educatalyst.com and start engaging. Obviously, the, the engagement rate there is, is vital. But also, we want to drive this in terms of smaller initiatives. Um, so mat no matter whether it's a principal, whether it's a vice chancellor, um, whether it's a head of, head of faculty, each individual that's a change agent um, and that can, that can be part of this um, needs to ensure that they, that they sign up to this. And in terms of measurement, so yes, being online, it's very easy. It's, it's about engagement rates. But I think it's, it comes down to, and that's why we, with the, the Harvard Institute for Teaching and Learning, there are metrics in place um, to ensure that whatever we are putting in place, so whatever we're coming up with, whether it's going to be, um, I'm going to use the paperless classroom, for example, putting in your smart technology with the devices, um, it's to track that change, to say, right, so from the start, what, what will, are we tracking grades? Are we tracking um, student confidence? So I think it depends on what the, what the outcome, what are we expecting? Mm. Um, and because it's a, it's a smaller community here in South Africa, um, it's certainly easier to get, get involved. Um, and because we are certainly a local partner to the likes of Harvard and Smart, 
um, we're certainly to hit, ready to hit the ground running. I'll tell you what, Candace, I'm looking forward to seeing how this actually translates. And please do keep us abreast of uh, the developments uh, in this space. And uh, that was Candace Dupria, spokesperson for the Catalyst community. And uh, this is a platform that connects global education leaders to engage with like-minded peers committed to taking action for change and improvement in education systems around the world.